easy to follow through. Okay, today's Daf Bezus Hashem is Daf Yud Aleph. We're beginning Daf Yud Omer Cheni, and we're five lines from the bottom. Tanya, we learned in Abraisa. Rabbi Lezer Oima, Rabbi Lezer says, Betishrei Nivra Ha'olam. In Tishrei, the world was created. Uh, so the month of Tishrei is like where Hashem created man. In other words, that's the main part of the world. God started to create the world at Chafhe El, but man was not completed until the first of Tishrei. If you think about it, the word Bereshis stands for Aleph Tishrei. If you rearounds the, the words, it's Aleph Tishrei. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway. Uh, it has all that line. But that Tishrei Nivraylam, Betishrei Nolda Ovis. In Tishrei, Avram and Yaakov were born. That's what we're saying. Avram and Yaakov were born. Betishrei Mesu Ovis. Betishrei, the Ovis the were um, uh, passed on because they lived, they died, they were born in Tishrei, and they died at the same month that they were born, which is a big Indian for a tzaddik. The Pesach, Noiled Yitzchak. On Pesach, Yitzchak was born. As this week's Pesedra, uh, Pesach, Yitzchak was born. Rosh Hashanah, we're going to see more of this uh, in the Gemara. Rosh Hashanah, Nifkata, Sarah, Rachel, Vachana. On Rosh Hashanah, they, Hashem made a Gezeira, uh, made a, a wrote down that that year, Sarah, Rachel, and Chana are going to become pregnant. Not that they became pregnant on Rosh Hashanah. That's not true. And we're going to see that Sarah became pregnant on Sukkot. So Rosh Hashanah means Hashem wrote down that they're going to get pregnant that year. So the, the question you're going to ask me then, everybody gets written down on Rosh Hashanah what's going to happen to them that year. So what is unique about Sarah, Rachel, and Chana? I don't, I don't have the uh, exact answer, but what I think is that the answer could be that Sora, Rachel, and Hannah were people who could not have children. They were physically, um, they were physically unable to have any children, and that kind of a moifis was written down on Rosh Hashanah. I, I'm, I'm, but that is the the novelty of that. I'm not sure. But Rosh Hashanah, Yatsu Yosef and Beis Hua Surin, on Rosh Hashanah. Yosef left the prison. Okay, so now we go to the Yudal from Aleph. Rosh Hashanah, Botla Avoseinu Avoida Me Avoseinu B'Mitzrayim, and and Rosh Hashanah we stopped working in Mitzrayim. In other words, it's funny. In in from Nisan, God started making makos. So by the by Rosh Hashanah time, which was after the fifth month um, or six months. We were still working in Mitzrayim during the Makkas. And then on Rosh Hashanah, six months before leaving Mitzrayim, that's when we said, okay, the Jews don't have to work anymore. So that's on Rosh Hashanah. And then Rabbi Lezna says, Benishan, Benishan Nigalo, Benishan, on Nisan, we were redeemed. Uh, on, as you know, in, we left Mitzrayim on Nisan, but Tishrei Asidin Ligael, on Tishrei, uh, we're going to, I'm going to uh, get redeemed. Hold, hold on one second. My apologies, something dropped. Okay, so that's the opinion of Rabbi Leza. Okay, so Rabbi Le Tanya, uh, then we have an opinion of Rabbi Yeshua Aima. But Nisr Nivra Oilam. So this, in this part, he argues with Rabbi, Rabbi Lazar. He said, in Nisan, the world was created. But Nisan, Naldo Avais. And in Chaydish Nisan, the fathers, our forefathers, Avram Yaakov, were born. But Nisan, Meso Avais. And in Nisan, they died. Okay. The Pesach, Nerl Yitzchak. With Pesach, Yitzchak was born. So that part, he agrees with Rabbi Lazar. But Rosh Hashanah, Nifkida, Sarah, Rachel, that party agrees that Rachel, Sarah, Rachel were decreed to have children. But Rosh Hashanah, Yatsu, Yosem, Beis, Hasurim, and Rosh Hashanah, Yosef left the base of the, the jail. So that, that he agrees with Rabbi Eleazar. But Rosh Hashanah, Batla, Avoidem, Avasein, Mitzrayim. On Rosh Hashanah, we stopped working in Mitzrayim. So that he agrees. But this party doesn't. 
Benisa Nigalo, everybody agrees that Nisan we left Mitzrayim, we were redeemed. But when is Mashiach coming? Benisan Asidin Ligal. In the Chaydish Nisan, we're going to be redeemed. So you see a major machloikis here. When the when the final redemption is going to come. In Rabbi Eleazar's opinion, Betishrei Asidin Ligal. In Tishrei, Mashiach is coming. And, and according to Rabbi Yeshua, Benisan Asidin Ligal. Now, of course, you know that you, Mashiach could come any day. But that is only if the Jews are worthy of it. But if we're not worthy of it, then there's a set time that Mashiach must come, the final redemption. So according to Rabbi Yeshua, it's in Nisan, and according to Rabbi Lezer, it's in Tishrei. Okay, now the Gemara explains each thing we discussed before. Tanya, we learned in a brisa. Rabbi Lezer, I'm a menayin. How do I know Shebe Tishrei Nivra Oilam? How do I know that in Tishrei, the world was created? Shene'amar, because the Pasuk says, on the, on the day that God created um, uh, vegetation. So the Pasuk says on the fifth day, Shnema Vayoy Melekim, Tache Ha'orej Desha. Let the earth be covered with vegetation. Asev Mazria Zera, grass that have a seed inside of it. Eats Peri, and trees that have already fruit on them. So now the trees have fruits. The vegetation is already grown. So what month? Are we talking about what month does the earth this is changed by the Bach is Malaya the Shoim is full of vegetation the Elon Malay Paris and the trees are full of fruit what month already is everything uh, completed so to speak have the oim is at Tishrei that's Tishrei throughout the spring is the growing season and then in Tishrei everything is just about completing harvest it's ready for harvest and that time, Zman Revia it was the rainy season because in Cheshvon, you know, October, whatever, starts the rainy season. And rains come down and sprout forth the next produce. After you're going to cut this one, the next produce gets ready. You know, the water uh, uh, wet uh, drenches the land. Shanama. The aid Ya'alem in Aretz. And the, right away, the Pasuk says that the next during that time, a cloud went up from planet Earth and made the first rainfall. So according to Ablezer, the way he reads the Chumash, it seems to imply that in Tishrei, the world was created. In the fall, Rabbi Yeshua, I'm a note, Menayin Shebenissa Nivraim. I have the opinion that in Nisan, the world was created. In the springtime, Shanama. Because the Pasuk says, when it actually vegetation came out, when it appeared, the Pasuk says, desha, asev zera, the, the earth brought forth a vegetation, a grass that has a seed inside of it. The eight, a tree, oisepri, that could potentially bring forth fruit. So, Ezehu chaydesh, what month, shaharetz maitziya desham, what month does the earth start start uh, bringing forth, start sprouting vegetation. It's the beginning of the sprouting of vegetation. The Elon Moitzi pears. And when does this tree start sprouting forth and blossoming with fruits? Have a is Nisan. That must be Nisan. The Oise Haperek Zaman, that time is, is what is Zaman Behem of Achaiv Oif Shemizdav Gunzelze. Springtime is the breeding times for normal, normally for animals, wild animals, and birds. Shanama, love shukhar We learned this Pasik that animals start to become pregnant in Adar and Nisan. And so during that time, the food is being prepared so that when the children are born, so to speak, there's now more food on the ground by the end of the spring, summertime. So that is a uh, machloikis in the Gemara of exactly when was the world created. According to Rabbi Lazar, the world was created in Tishrei. According to, Rab, according to Rabbi Yeshua, the world was created in Nisan. And the Psukim seemed to, to give direction to each one's opinion. So the Gemara asked, The question is, Rabbi Lazar, who said that the world was created in Tishrei, because one Pasuk says that the tree had fruit on it. But there is another Pasuk that says, Eitz oise pri, that the, the tree was, was potentially giving forth fruit. 
So how does Rabbi Lezer learn that Pasuk? So, and for the Gemara, hahu lebracha that is to give a blessing for future generations. In other words, when the world was created, the world was created with, true, with trees that had fruit on it, right? And it makes sense because when Adam ate from the eight sadas, he didn't have to wait. He, had a, he pulled the fruit off the tree. But, but when the Torah says that the, the earth gave forth trees that could give fruit, it means that these trees were mature trees that next year, they can give. Uh, they can give all, all these types of trees have the potential when they when you replant seeds from them, they will give forth trees that could also give fruit, but not that the tree did not have fruit on it. Now, Vedic Nami, Rabbi Shua, we have a question. Hoksiv eats pre, but there's a pasuk that says that when God created the world, or He asked that the world bring forth fruit, it's trees that have fruit on them, and, and so it implies that the world was created in Tishrei. That will say goes according to the opinion of Yeshua ben Levi. The Amar Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi says, "Kol all works of creation, trees, animals, birds, lekaymosa nivru. When they were created, they were created mature, not like a baby, like Adam Rishon. He wasn't created as a baby; he was created as a mature adult. His his creation was a, a maturity. Ledaton nivru." This is interesting. They they asked the opinion of the of the of the bird. Do you want to be a such and such type of bird? They asked the opinion of the tree. Do you want to be such and such a tree? In other words, every creature has an angel in heaven, so to speak. And they asked their opinion. Do they agree to be created this way? So and they agreed. According to their desire, they were created. The entire heavens and earth were completed, and the cults of Aam, so all, all the legions, but Al Tikru Al Tikri don't read it Svaam, El Tsiv Yoinam. Tsiv Yoinam means their desire. It means they 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 formed it, they had what they wanted it. That's that's how what formed the shape of each creature. So eight, so that's what he says, that it doesn't mean that there were fruits on the tree. It was brought forth as a tree that had the potential to give forth fruit. It wasn't a sapling. It was a mature tree, but it did not give off fruit. And that's how Rabbi Yeshua learns Pshat and the Pasuk. The Gemara, new Gemara continues. Rableze Oymet, the Gemara continues and brings another point. Menayin, how do I know? Shibetishrei noldu avos, that the avos hakadoshim, that means Avraham and Yaakov, not Yitzchak, as we said, were born in the month of Tishrei. Shenamar, the Pasuk says, when King Shlomo built the, the, the base of Migdash, the first base of Migdash, it says, Vayikahalu el melech Shlomo kol ish Yisrael, they all gathered around King, King Shlomo, Be'yarach, in a special month, Ho'esonim, this month is called the Esan month, the powerful month, Bechag, on Sukkot, and they built the first base of Migdash. Now, a sonim, obviously, this month is Tishrei. But why is the month of Tishrei called a sonim? That word, a sonim, what does that mean? Yerach, the powerful month, because it's the month, shall know the boy, a sonne oilam. The, the supports and the power of the universe was born in that month. That means that the Avay Sakadoshim were born in the month of Tishrei. Now, first the Gemara explains, my mashma, how do you see, how, where do you see that the definition of the word Eson means power? The high Eson, Lishana di Takifehu. How do you see that the word Eson means powerful? Kiddik Siv, like it says in the Postic, Eson Moishavecha. Eson Moishavecha, your, your, your situation where you're, where you're dwelling, Eson is in a powerful place. Vo'oimer, and then there's a Postic that says, Shimu Harem es Riv Hashem. Listen, mountains, to the to the debate of Hashem. Sonim, the Esonim, which is another name for mountains. Mois de Ares, the foundations of the world. So another name for mountains is called Esonim. So Harim and Esonim both are synonyms. Okay, now I'm going to show you that 
the Avay Sekadoshim are called mountains. And therefore, if mountains means the, our fa- forefathers, then the word Eisonim also mean our forefathers. So when we say Yerech Eisonim, it's the month that our forefathers were born. Now, how do I see that the word mountain means our forefathers? Because the Oimer, there is another Pasuk that says, Kol doidi, the voice of my beloved. This means Hashem. Uh, zebah, he's coming to redeem us in Mitzrayim. Medaleg, he skipped al haharem because of the mountains. Mekapets, he skipped al hagvois because of the hills. What does that mean? In Mitzrayim, we were really supposed to be there for 400 years, but we left early, 210. Why did God, so to speak, uh, you know, take us out early? So because Medalek, he skipped those extra years, al Heharim because of those mountains, which means bischus avois, because of the forefathers. Mikapet, he skipped, he jumped, he jumped ahead, redeemed us early from its rhyme, al hagvois because of the hills. Bischus imahois, and bischus of our mothers, bischus of Sar Rivka Rachaleya. So therefore, again, that's the proof that the Avay Sakadoshim were born in the month of Tishrei. That's Rabbi Lezer's proof. What's the proof again? Mountains, the word mountains means the Avais. And another synonym for the word mountain is Asan, powerful, because they are the ones that were there from the, from the start of creation, the power of the earth, so to speak. And when we call the month of Tishrei, Yerech Ho'esanim, the month of the power, it's like another saying, the month of the mountains, the month of the Ovois, the month that the Ovois were born. That's Rabbi Lazar's opinion. Rabbi Yeshua, Aimeh, Rabbi Yeshua says, Menayin, how do I know? How do I know in Nisan the, 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 is the birthday or the birth time of the Ovois? It says in the Pasuk, It says, It says that the in the, in the month of Ziv, which is usually translated as Ear, but it's an extension of Nisan. So that's when the, the temple was completed, right? In the Chodesh Ziv, the Chodesh of Shining. The light of the world, the shine of the world was born. So therefore he learns, because even though they were born in Nisan, by Ear time, all the others were around probably more than 30 days. So we can see that they actually were born 30 days prior to Eor, which is the month of Nisan. So that is the proof that he thinks that in the month of Nisan, the Ovis were born. So now you have to answer. According to Rabbi Yeshua, it says that they were born in the Esan month, that Tishrei is called the powerful month. Why is Tishrei called the powerful month if, they, if the Ovis were born in Nisan? So Rabbi Yeshu is going to tell you, Hossam over there, the Takifei B'mitzvahs. That means that it's a powerful month because there's a lot of mitzvahs in the month. There's blowing of the shofar, fasting, sukkah, lulav, esrig, shanas, nechamayim, a lot of mitzvahs that month. That's what makes it a powerful month, not because the others were born. V'idach nami. And now Rabbi Eleza has to answer, why is the month of Nisan called Chodesh Ziv? Haksib B'chodesh Ziv. The, the chaydish that this light into the world. What does that mean? So the Gemara says, "Ahu the isbe ziva leilani." There's brightness or shine to trees. What does that mean? What do you need to know that the shine, the trees are shining? The Amar Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda said, fascinating thing. We learned this in Brachas. Hi man the mafek Nisan. If you go out into the field on during the month of Nisan, the chazi ilane dem lavlavi, and you see trees blossoming, you have to make a bracha. Ime baruch shalochise baruch atah Hashem lekenu melech olam shalochise meelamai klum. God, you didn't miss anything from this world. Ubara brai, and you created briyis tivis, good, nice looking creatures. The Ilanois Toivois and good trees, Lehis Noois Behem Bene Odom, to bring enjoyment to people. Fascinating thing. In other words, in other words, like this, when a typical, tr- you, you don't realize this, but you eat a fruit, you typically are making three brachas on that fruit. 
What do you get three brachas? First, when you eat the fruit, is you make a bayer priya eights. Fine. That's actually when you're enjoying the fruit inside of you. But if you actually, if it's a new fruit that you didn't have in the season yet, and you maybe you see a complete fruit on the tree, let's say you see a, a pomegranate on a tree and it hasn't been around for months, you'd have to make a shechiyonu. Technically, we, you should make it while it's still on the tree, but we make it, you know, when it's in front of you, a shechiyonu. Because, wow, it's, it's, a, it's a time that we see a complete fruit that we could potentially have enjoyment from it. But now that there's an extra bracha, uh, there's an extra bracha that you see on a tree as it's blossoming. There's no fruit yet on the tree, but you see hope that the tree will bring forth a fruit. You're supposed to make another bracha. And God created beautiful trees to, to bring enjoyment to man. See how much you're supposed to bless God, even just for the hope of a tree that it's going to give forth fruit. Around uh, Lawrence, we have uh, certain people having their yards of uh, fruit trees, and during the month of Nisan, they put up a sign of this bracha to make there. The only thing is, um, there is a chumrah to make it over two trees, because the br bracha says, Ilonos taibis, plural. Uh, so some have a chumrah to see, only if you see two trees to make this bracha. But we don't pass like that. Also, there's another question is, what does this mean? Ubara by brios taivas, good, good creatures or good creations. What does that come in? It should it should say God created nice trees. So why do you saying good creatures? So some want to say that this is a remez for a Gilgal, that sometimes a person needs to come down and in, in, again in the in the form of a fruit to be eaten by a righteous person. And they gets a tick on that way. So that's a Kabbalistic remus, but it's a, it's a, just a, something to think about. What does it mean, Briais Taivas? But generally, you don't only have to make it a Nisan time. I think if you live now in Australia or on the other side of, of the Southern Hemisphere, you make the bracha right now. We make it a Nisan because we're in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, they make it, they make it right now. So now, anyway, the obvious either were born in Nisan or in Tishrei. So we say, man, the, the, the one that says the Nisan, the obvious were created, were born, Benisan Mesu, they died in Nisan. Man, the the Betishrei Mesu, they died in Tishrei, because they die in the same month that they were born. Because why? That's a beautiful, a good cementoy for a tzaddik. Shnema, because we find in the Torah, Moshe Rabbeinu said that. I'm 120 years old today. It's my birthday. Shein tamad why did Moshe say it's today? He wanted to tell you how he feels that he's a righteous person, that he's dying on the day he was born. Today I completed my days and my years. To teach you, God is waiting or sitting and completes the years of a tzaddik from day to day, from month to month. God will complete your, the, your days. So it's a big thing for a tzaddik to die on this year that he was born. No, no, nobody was great like the other so we can assume that they also died in the month that they were born. Now, the Gemara, like we say, there's always some uh, tafiomi uh, coincidence. And this week's parsha is what we're talking about right now. The Pesach Noel Yitzchak on Yantiv a Pesach Yitzchak was born. Menolan, how do we know that? Kidiksiv la moyed oshuv elacha. The the Malachim told Avram la moyed the following Yantiv we're going to come back to you the following holiday and you'll have a son. Amos Koi, when were they around? When did the Malachim say this to Avram? Elam a Pesach. Would you say they said this to a pas on Pesach time? And they told Avram, come Shavuos time, you're going to have a chill child. Become a lebat seres and shvuas. You're gonna have a baby. The chamshin yoyme mi kol yalde is it possible to have a baby in fifty days? Ella, you want to say the koi bat seres? They were in shvuas time. The kama le betishrei and they're telling him in sukkah time you'll have a a baby. Akati bechamishi yarchem mi kol yalde. And five months can they have a baby? And must be. And this is the point. The koi bechag on sukkah time. And sukkah time, Sarah becomes pregnant. The kama la benisan. And in Nisan, uh, uh, and they told him, come next Yontif Pesach, don't go, don't go away to a hotel, you're going to have a baby. 
So, so Gemara says, Akati, so it's still six months between Sukkot and Pesach. Akati b'shisi yarechei mi koyade. Is it possible to have a baby in six months? So the Gemara says, Tana, we learned in a Braisa, Fascinating. They, they made it an extra lunar month. So actually there's seven months between Sukkot and Nisa, but not seven complete months. Soif, soif. When you take off the days of Tuma, because the Sukkim imply that Sarah became Anida the day that the Malachim came. So she's Tama, you have to wait seven days. So it's seven months minus seven days. So you don't have a complete seven months for, for her to carry a pregnancy. So how, how is it possible that the Malachim said on Sukkot's time, come, come next year Pesach, you're going to have a baby when it's going to be less than seven months. Um, Mazutra, Mazutra says a scientific uh, statement. I feel the yama, if you, even if you're in the opinion, your letters, Letitia, that a woman who needs nine months to give birth, right? A woman who needs nine months to give birth, your in, cannot give birth less than a complete term. She must go the nine months. But your letters, Shiva, but if you're giving birth for seven months, then you don't have to be the full seven months. You can give birth in uh, you know, seven months, but you can even give birth six months and a day. Shinema, because the Pasuk says by Chana, what does it mean? Chana gave birth to Shmuel at the end of Tkufais and Yamim. Me at Tkufais, the word Tkufa is two. Each Tkufa is three months. So if you have two times three months, six months. Umiyat yamim shnaim, and the minimum of days is two. So Chana already gave birth six months and two days. So you see that if you're giving birth early, you actually don't have to go the full term, that, that term. You don't have to go seven months. You can go six months and a little bit. And that's what happened over here. Sarah became Anida during Sukkot. After Sukkot, she became pregnant. It was a little less than seven months, but nevertheless, she was able to give birth. Now, I point out to you that if you learn Chomish Rashi this week, Rashi does not go with this Gemara. Rashi goes not with the Gemara, with the Medrash, that they actually, that they told that the uh, Malachim came Pesach time to, to, uh, Sar, to Avram and Sar. In fact, by, when they came to Lloyd, it says Matzus, off of the baked Matzus. And then next year, you know, a whole year later, uh, that's when Sarah uh, gave birth. So, uh, that's the Gemara. When Rashi wrote his Pirish, he always took the simple, most simplest pshat, and somehow that fits into the Psukim. Somehow Rashi didn't feel that this uh, Gemara fits into the Psukim uh, correctly, and therefore he didn't choose it in his Pirish. But Rosh Hashanah, Nifka does Sarah Rachel Rosh Hashanah, uh, they made the rule that Hashem made Xerah that Sarah Rachel Hana are going to have children, Manolan, Amar Ablaza, Asya Pekida Pekida, Asya Zechira Zechira. It's Xerah Shava. It says by Rachel, when she had a child, it says the word Zechira by the when Rachel had a child. Now, the word Zechira is definitely Tishrei, because the word Zechroin means, of course, the, the day that you blow Shaifer, which is the first of Tishrei. So therefore, we know Rachel and Chana gave birth on gave, uh, God remembered them and made them pregnant on Tishrei, so to speak. But how do you know Sara is in, in, in that group? Because you're going to learn Pekida, Pekida. It says by Chana, who we know got pregnant or was assigned to become pregnant during Tishrei, Ki Fokat Hashem as Chana. It says the word Pekida by Chana. Hashem Hashem, uh, uh, Hashem remembered Sara and therefore uh, we know by extension that Sara also was Nifkida, was remembered to be, uh, by Hashem for this new, for Gezeira that she will become pregnant on Rosh Hashanah. The next Gemara, Rosh Hashanah Yatsuf Yosef Mebeis Asurim, on Rosh Hashanah Yosef left jail, Minolam, how do you know that? Blow the Shoifer on Rosh Hashanah, Kichayk Yisrael. So what does that have to do with Yosef leaving jail? But that if we learn that that's tomorrow's uh, yom, the next pasuk says, "Edus be Yosef saw my betzaisai, el eretz mitzrayim." Yosef that day they put him on jewelry when he left uh, when he left uh, 
Paroi's uh, presence to, to go out to Mitzrayim as a hero, that he's now the viceroy. So, viceroy. so that day must have been about Rosh Hashanah time. So Rosh Hashanah left jail on Rosh Hashanah. For Rosh Hashanah, but lava avidim avasein Mitzrayim. On Rosh Hashanah, we stopped working. Ksiv hacha, we says over here, but says he asked him, tacha sivla Mitzrayim. Hashem says, I'm taking you out from the burdens of Mitzrayim. You're no more going to work for the Mitzrayim. Okay. Uksiv hasam, and it says by Yosef, who, who stopped jail and stopped working in jail, hasiroisi, I remove misevo, a load shikhmai from his shoulder. So to speak, Yosef stopped working on, on Tishrei. So we learned Sevel Sevel that we also stopped working in Mitzrayim in Tishrei. Now the Gemara says, Benissa Nigalo. We know the Jews left Mitzrayim. We were redeemed in Nisan, Kedisa. That's 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 explicit in the Chumash. But but Tishrei Asid in Ligal, according to Rabbi Lezer, the Mashiach is coming in Tishrei. Why? Asya Shaifa Shaifa, Av Xer Shava, Shaifa Shaifa. Ksiv Hachat says over here, Tiku Bachoide Shaifa, below the Shaifa, which is Tishrei. Uksiv Hasab, it says when it refers to Mashiach in Yeshaya, by Yaimahu in that day, you talk about Shaifa Godel. They'll blow the great Shaifa. So definitely Mashiach will be coming in Tishrei. But Rabbi Shua, I met, Rabbi Shua says, Benissin Nigalu, Benissin Asidin Gal. In Nissan, we got redeemed. And in Nisan, the future redemption is coming. Menolan, how do we know that? Amakra, the Pasuk says, Lel Shimurim, that God called the night that we left Mitzrayim, the watch night. What does that mean? Lyle, it's a night. Hamashumar, God is so waiting and uba and is prepared. from the time of creation. That's going to be a special night because that is going to be the night, so to speak, when Mashiach will come around that time. So that's why it's called Leil Shimurim. The Idach, Rabbi Lezer, who learns that in Nisan the Mashiach is coming, why does the Chumash say Leil Shimurim? Pesach night is a night of watchfulness. What does that mean? That means it's a halacha. Leil HaMashumar Uba Min HaMazikin. It's a Leil that God protects you from Mazikin, from any type of damages, from any type of bad spirits, or anything uh, bad to happen to a Jew cannot happen on the night of the Seder, They're, that, that the, they are in check, held in check on the night of the Seder. And for that reason, um, some people don't lock their doors on, on the night of the Seder. They also, there's Allah in Shulchan Aruch that you don't say, um, you don't say um, um, Krishma Alamita that night. You say Krishma, but you don't say Hamapil. And also, when you have the Elio coming to sip from the cup of wine, usually people leave it over the next morning, um, the next morning to make Kiddush on from the cup of wine that Elio drank. But normally, if you leave something out there, you're supposed to cover it. But since the Seder night is a night of no mazikin, some people even leave it uncovered, and uh, that's okay too. So we'll continue here tomorrow, Bez Hashem, of Azdu So that was. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.